so just please take note of that regret comes in the end and i have experienced that and that's really heartbreaking so yeah hi guys this is again alan and welcome back to my channel today here in the philippines we are now on our 19th week of the quarantine but i'm positive that you are all safe and sound at the comfort of your homes in today's video, we are going to be having again another watercolor brand review and this was the second place in our poll. This is no other than your request. Yes, the Art Ranger watercolors from China. I got my Art Ranger watercolors which is a 12 color set at Hana Craft account at Shabby Philippines for 180 Philippine pesos or roughly 3.5 US dollars. Aside from the 12 colors, they also have 24 colors and aside also from Hana Craft account, there are also many other sellers of Art Ranger that you can find and I'll be putting the links that I will find at the description box. I ordered this on July 8th and I received it on July 11th. So now let's unpack first our set. Be careful not to damage the item inside whenever you're using your cutters. So now here is our box and in front you can find here the brand name Art Rangers watercolor 12 12 ml tubes and here's a preview on how their tubes look like here you will find again the brand name 12 ml and their email so 12 tubes times 12 ml and at the back they have here again the same information and they're indicating here it's suitable for beginners or students from primary and high schools. So here are the colors that are available in this set. They are providing the color names in one, two, three, four, five different languages. Here they covered the address of the manufacturer and instead covered it with the local distributor in the Philippines. But still you can see here it's made in China. According to their website, Art Ranger is one of the brands under Maggie Wap Company covering all kinds of kids' creative paint and offering high and safe quality to worldwide kids. As a consensuous enterprise, Maggie Wap always put the safety at the most important position as we care deeply the kid health. Okay, <laughs> young generation bears the hope for every family, also every country. So... I appreciate how they tried to communicate with us in English and I think it's clear that they are making this Art Rangers line dedicated for students and kids. Aside from watercolors, they also have acrylic, gouache, and oil paints. I'll be putting the link of their website at the description box. Now let's take a look at the tubes. So the tubes are placed in a tray and again wrapped in plastic. The tubes are placed in this flimsy plastic tray, but it's fine. Now let's check an individual tube. So it's a plastic tube with plastic cap. It says here watercolor and again the name of the color in five different languages. And it says here 12 ml. And there are no other information aside from that. So let's check if there are already holes. Oh, so the tubes are covered with foil. Now let's compare our 12 ml tubes with the other tubes that we have. This is a 15 ml from Mission Gold. This is a 10 from Van Gogh. And this is a 5 ml from Winsor & Newton. And since these are school grade paints, even lower than student grade paints, we are not expecting any light fastness information or pigment coat information. So we are gonna be a little bit more forgiving in this line. Now for our swatches and sample painting, we are using, as usual, Arches 185 cold press cotton paper. And for our brushes, we are using... 
Royal Aqualon 2150 size 10, flat brush, and a Skoda Reserva size 8. Now let's start with white. So this white is not a titanium white, it's more on the Chinese white. Now let's go to lemon yellow. And this is vibrant, surprisingly. Next we have yellow ochre. Next is vermilion. Next we have crimson red. Which is also very intense. I'm surprised actually about how vibrant the colors are turning out. Next, we have Ultramarine Blue. And this is also very deep. I'm surprised. Let's see if this will have granulation. I think we are gonna confirm when it's dry. Next, we have Prussian Blue. Next, we have Deep Green. But this doesn't look deep green. It looks like a mid green. Now we have here grass green. Which is I think equivalent to a sap green. Now we have here burnt sienna. Next, we have Burnt Umber. So far, I'm glad that the color names match the actual look of the colors, except for the deep green. Lastly, we have Black. Initially, I am very happy about how easily they spread. I mean, they're very creamy. And also, I'm glad that the colors match their names. And most of the colors are also on the transparent side. But let's see if there are going to be changes once the swatches dry. For now, let's proceed to our sample painting. And for this, we are going to be speeding this up to save time. So if you have any questions, just comment it below and I'll be responding as soon as I can. Now our sample painting is dry, we can now remove our tape. Now our sample painting and swatches are dry, we can now have a closer look.
with regards to the color selection i think this is not the most standard selection because instead of a warm yellow they have here white but i can accept white and i understand because white is very much needed by the kids for color mixing and also you can see that the colors appear to be bright but i feel somehow that they're not very pigmented they are very thin and also i have this feeling that they can be i'm not saying it is but they can be uh, dye based because i'm not seeing any granulation in any of their colors especially in their ultramarine which is supposedly a granulating color but who knows this can be like the Schmincke's ultramarine finest which doesn't granulate at all so we don't know but since they did not provide any pigment information i cannot remove my you know my suspicion that these can be dye based i also think that the color names are appropriate except for the deep green this is obviously mid green only and i also wish they had included a tallow green or a viridian instead of this green and a tallow blue instead of prussian blue but yeah this can work i think this is okay especially for kids and as a proof i think i was able to uh, achieve the output that i want in our sample painting my only complaint my only single complaint was that i wasn't able to achieve the deep gray that i wanted by mixing the burnt sienna and ultramarine i was supposed to make this almost black the the posts and this um, tree here but i think that is brought by the you know not very pigmented paints but it looks okay it looks transparent and yeah, I think it's not a big deal, especially that these paints are super inexpensive. Now let's go to the comparison portion and let's begin with the set of paints that are, I think, obviously less performing as compared to the Art Ranger watercolor set. So let's begin with the Dong A Creative, which is obviously very pale. Next is Symboline Watercolors, Best Buy Watercolors. Faber Castell solid watercolors, which is very weird when it comes to you know dispersion, and that is the same with the Reeves watercolors, and also the Giorgioni watercolor cakes, which are very opaque. Now let's go to the next set, which are composed of school grade and student grade paints, that are I think very comparable to the Art Ranger set. Let's begin with the Marys watercolors in tubes, Prang watercolors. Mary's watercolors in half pans, Pibeo Studio watercolors, Faber Castell in tubes, and the brand that is I think most comparable with the Art Ranger is the Pentel watercolors fine in tubes. Our next set of paints are the student grade paints that are obviously performing better as compared to the Art Ranger. First is Windsor & Newton China. Next, we have the Kureta Higan Saitambi. We also have the Superior Fan Palette Watercolors. Next is the Pretty Excellent Watercolors. We also have the Simi Art Solid Watercolors. And of course, Superior Watercolors Half Pants. Windsor & Newton Catman. Sonnet Watercolors. And the Van Gogh Watercolors. Our next and last set are of course the artist grade paints which are understood to be performing better as compared to the Art Ranger. Now this is only for visual comparison. We have the Mary's Masters watercolors, the Lucas Aquarel 1862 watercolors, the Kokuyo Kamlin Camel watercolors, Prima Marketing Tropicals, the Paul Rubens watercolors in gold. Windsor & Newton Professional, Holbein Botanical Art Watercolors, Egal Yohani Watercolors, Holbein Artists Watercolors, 30 colors, White Knights Watercolors in Tubes. We also have White Knights in Pants. Then we have the Daniel Smith Extra Fine Sticks. The Mijello Mission Gold Pure Pigment Set. The Rembrandt Luxury Pocket Box and of course the Daniel Smith Ultimate Mixing Set. 
So now, if you are gonna ask me, would I recommend the Art Ranger watercolors? My answer is yes. Yes, if you are a student or a school kid who paints for some school works that you don't mind them fading over time or if you're the type of artist who just paints in journals or sketchbooks and you don't plan on selling your paintings or displaying them in frames so so if you're that type of artist then this should be fine these are inexpensive so this won't hurt your budget but if you're the type of artist who sells his work or who displays his work then I don't really recommend this because this set or this brand doesn't give you any assurance at all that your paints are gonna last and of course you want to uh, save your artwork save your paintings or save your reputation to your client if you're selling your paintings so please avoid paints that doesn't give any assurance that your paintings are gonna last so just please take note of that regret comes in the end and I have experienced that and that's really heartbreaking so yeah and so I think we're done with the Art Ranger watercolors I think that's all for today but also I'd like to remind you guys to please watch my World Watercolor Month challenge uploads we already have three weeks uploaded and we just have two left the challenge is really fun and so I encourage you to uh, watch my uploads and let me know what you think about it so I think that's all. If you are not subscribed yet, please do subscribe to support this channel. Please don't forget to like and share this video. Again, thank you for watching and see you on Friday.